In this video, I'll show you how to use Uphold. Uphold say that you can trade anything to anything on their app. Basically, they give us access to a lot of different asset classes. So cryptocurrencies, fiat currencies, stocks, and metals we can trade on Uphold. I'll show you how to get set up with an account and get some money on here to go ahead and trade. Firstly, we have to sign up for an account and do KYC. KYC stands for Know Your Customer. You need an ID card, confirm your phone number and address, and potentially answer some other questions as well on how you're gonna use the platform. I'll show you on the web app because the smartphone has a privacy block where you can't screen record the phone, but this is exactly what your smartphone app looks like as well. This is the balance that you have on Uphold and the fiat currency value of it right here. But I'll just show you how to go ahead and sign up. I'll leave the link down in the description and as a pinned comment, if you click that, you can go through to the smartphone app or the web app and sign up just like this. So email address and password, go ahead and do that. Then it says verify your email address. So glad you're here. Tell us about yourself, full legal name, date of birth. Make sure it all matches your KYC uh, identification, right? So either you know, a driving license or a passport. Where do you live? Go ahead and put that in. You may need to prove this later uh, because when you deal with fiat currency, they're gonna have to have this information. So make sure that this is the same as either a utility bill or a bank statement or anything uh, that you can use to actually prove that uh, you're at the address that you give right here. Verify your phone number. So go ahead and do that. Confirm a passcode. This is simply for logging into the app. So make that passcode and then you can switch this to biometrics later. So you can just log in with face ID or touch ID later. You don't have to put the passcode in. Verify your identity. So this is actually KYC. So you're gonna need a driving license or passport or a national ID card. Go ahead and do that. And because I'm trading crypto, it's gonna ask me these questions. Now, depending on which country that you live in, you may not have these questions at all uh, because this is a regulator um, you know, question set and different regulators have different questions or none at all. So just tell them how you're gonna use the app, what you're gonna trade, and your financial information, income, and expected deposits, as you can see there. So go ahead and put that in. Those are just questions. They're not gonna block you from using the app if you answer them in one way or another. That's just a regulatory thing. But that's it, and when you press next, that will actually let you into the app to go ahead and trade. Now that we have an account set up, what we need to do is add some payment methods so that we can use our money to trade into other assets that we would want. And there's a few different ways to do this, which I'll show you. So if you're using the smartphone app, you wanna to get to this screen right here. That's down at the bottom middle of your app. There's a big icon that says transact. Click that and it takes you through to this page. And then you just transact one asset for another. So that's how you do it. So we can click this, select source, and that's how we add our payment methods. And there are many different payment methods that we can add. You can put money in from other crypto networks if you already have crypto elsewhere. You can use cards to pay or you can link bank accounts. And depending on which country that you're in, you may have different uh, currency bank accounts that you can add. So in my region, I have both GBP and Euro accounts. And that means that I can send those different currencies to those accounts. If you're in the States, you'll have a US dollar account and other countries you'll have whatever currencies that are supported in your region. Most people are gonna do best to uh, put some fiat currency deposits into the platform. That's gonna be the cheapest way to go ahead and trade. So if you're using cards, that's usually very expensive and you can pay up to 4% in fees because you pay a card fee, transaction fee, uh, FX fee and so on. So it's better to just actually create a bank deposit in your region, that's gonna be the cheapest way. So for me, for example, my banks, I can go and add them here on the right hand side and I can click those. So let's say I wanna add a bank account, I can click this and it says, we've well, got two options, you can see down by my head, you can use Euro or pound sterling, which one do you want to add? Now I've already added these bank accounts so I can go to select source again. And then as an example, I'll show you GBP. So if I click this, this is a pound sterling bank account that Uphold has created for me. In the UK, we run on a system of sort code and account numbers, so it's giving me that. It's giving me the bank name and everything and the address. So what I can do now is go over to my banking app and very easily make a deposit into this bank. Now this bank has my name on it, as you can see. So you must deposit from a pound sterling account and it must be from a pound sterling account in my name. So that means I have to have a bank account under my name that is GBP and I have to deposit from that. I can't deposit from a third bank account or somewhere else. It has to be under my name 
uh, in this currency. Same if I chose euros as well. And if you're in dollars or another currency, it's going to be much the same. Although, of course, banking systems are different. So you may have an IBAN that you can see here or some other uh, way to actually send the payment in. So that is how you send a fiat currency payment. Go over to your bank account. Make sure it's the same name as you've got with your Uphold account. Use these details. Send in an amount of fiat currency to Uphold that you want to go ahead and trade with. The other way to do this on Uphold is to tell them exactly what you want to buy and how much of it and then make the deposit as part of the trade. So the method I just showed you is just a bank deposit. You put in $100, the $100 is gonna sit there and not trade for anything until you actually do the trade. Using this method, we can tell them, this money is for a Bitcoin, and so switch it as soon as you get it. So I've put Bitcoin on the right-hand side here. Click this, it could be Bitcoin or any other asset that you wanna trade, whatever's available in your region. So I'll choose Bitcoin and then I'll choose $100. On the left-hand side, it says, where are you sending the money for this trade? So I'll click this, and it says, where do you want to send it from? I'll choose my GBP account. And then on this occasion, it gives me this reference code. This is gonna tell Uphold, this money is for the Bitcoin purchase that I told you to go ahead and do. So once they get that money, it will switch immediately into, for me, on this occasion, Bitcoin but I have to put this reference in. If you don't, then it's just gonna go into your account as fiat currency, then you have to swap it after. It's up to you which one you want to do. We can also trade with limit orders on Uphold. This is where we choose the exchange rate that we trade at. When you trade on Transact, you're given the exchange rate as it is at the current time when you trade. But you can also put a limit order in, which is where you choose to trade at a different price, hopefully a better exchange rate for you. And you can wait for the market to move around, hopefully in your favor, so that you get a better exchange rate for your trade. So if you press limit here, again on Uphold, it's from and to. So the from asset, I've got some USDT in my account here, $20 worth to go ahead and trade with. So I'm gonna sell that one. And then I'm going to buy down here some Bitcoin. And you can move this around. So I'm actually buying, so I need to press buy and then do this again. So USDT, Bitcoin. And then from here, you can see it says that right now one Bitcoin is trading at $77,000. So what I'm gonna do is choose uh, 70,000 like this. And then down here it says preview and I can put that limit order in. So what I'm telling Uphold is I'm willing to buy $20 worth of Bitcoin when the exchange rate is 70,000 per Bitcoin, because so we can trade any fraction of a Bitcoin. So if the market price falls down to 70,000, I can go ahead and trade my order. Now, if the price stays above 70,000, my limit order price, then it's not gonna trade for me because I've got a limit of 70,000, and if the market price is 75,000, it's too expensive for me and I can't trade. So that's the limit order. You can put that in and you can tell Uphold to trade if the market price gets to your limit order. Uh, if it doesn't get there, you won't trade. This is completely free to use as well because there's no uh, exchange rates or fees uh, for doing this. But if you trade, then you go ahead and pay the exchange rate again on Uphold. So that's how you put in a limit order. If you want to sell and cash out of your assets and return money to your bank account, then we just have to reverse the process. So on the left-hand side, we choose an asset that we have in our account. So my accounts here, I've got some USDT. So I can click on this because that's the value that I have in my account. So I'll click that. And the destination, I want to put this as one of my bank accounts. So my banks. And then right here it says, click to add a bank account. Now I've not made a bank transfer into Uphold yet. And so it's not going to let me link my bank account until I've done that. So press plus, And it's going to give you the bank details that you can send to. So euros, dollars, pounds, whatever it is in your region. Let's choose pound sterling. It says verify your bank account, view account credentials, and then your account uh, details again. So in order to withdraw cash from the platform, you have to make at least one transfer in so they can prove that where you're sending from is a bank account that you own and it's in your name. You can only send and withdraw uh, you know, cash to bank accounts that are in your name. So go ahead and make any transfer in if you want to then go ahead and transfer out. So go ahead and do that. And once you've got an account set up and linked, you can just sell any currency. So cryptocurrency or another fiat or anything else, you can sell it. And the destination is cash into your bank account and they'll send that cash back out into your bank account. If you're using Uphold to buy crypto that you want to withdraw from the platform to self custody in your own wallet or transfer to another exchange, we go back to this screen again. So on the left-hand side, click the asset that you want to send out. For me, I've got USDT, so I'll click this. 
On the, on the right hand side, we need to make sure that we're choosing a network and not an asset because this is a trade screen. So if I click on the right hand side and I go to crypto and I choose ETH, what it thinks I'm going to do is swap USDT for ETH. I don't want to swap the assets. I actually want to withdraw this one from the platform. So go to the right hand side, make sure that you're choosing crypto networks right here. Then we're going to show all the networks that we can send this asset out on. So I'm going to choose an ETH network like Arbitrum. Now down here, instead of saying preview trade, it says preview withdrawal. I'm going to send USDT over a network. So I'm going to preview the withdrawal. It's asking me for the address of the place that I want to send it. So go over to your wallet or the other exchange, get your deposit address for the Arbitrum network. I chose Arbitrum, but it could be any network that you want to use. Get your deposit address for the network that you want to use, paste it in here, press confirm, and that sends the asset out via a crypto network. If you've got crypto already in a wallet that you own and you want to use Uphold to trade it and cash out, you can do that. You just have to send the crypto into Uphold first to then go ahead and trade it. So go back into the trade screen. On the left hand side, click select source. And then instead of going to your accounts, go down to the bottom here where it says crypto networks. You can see a whole list of them here. And for stable coins, there are many supported networks on those. So wherever you're sending from, just make sure that where you're sending from, uh, that Uphold can receive the stable coin on that network as well. I'll just show you with Bitcoin as it's easily one address here. So Bitcoin, and that's your deposit address right here. So if you're sending in Bitcoin or anything else, just make the withdrawal from your wallet address, scan the QR code or get the long format address, send that asset in. Once that asset is in your Uphold account, you can go ahead and select the destination and sell it for fiat currency and put it back into your bank account. That's the basics of using Uphold. I'll leave a link to sign up for an account down in the description. I'm James, it's MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.